Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look, there's a lot going on behind the scenes, but it is lip service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Jasmine Brand. And I'm a Marsha Ambrosius. Yes. Me. Don't be surprised to see Marsha Ambrosius <laughs> with her little soft, beautiful voice on lip service. Uh, right. Well, <laughs> it, yeah. the voice just changed on me because it was not this. I'm like, well, you said you were Philadelphian and the Philly comes out when the Philly comes out. Period. So I'm, you know, softly spoken and British at times, but then I'm a John. <laughs> okay. Certified. Definitely Period. So yes, you definitely a John. Get some drinks in me. No, I'm only joking. All the sparkling right water here. is mine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. We <laughs> Thank you. Hospitable but around here. Thank you. We are so happy to have you up here, mm. by the way, because Thank you, my you have some exciting things. I do. Oh my gosh, it's been a, a journey to get here. But yes, Casablanco on the way. It's, I love uh, the name. I love that. Casablanco, a place, a destination, somewhere where you can listen to music to fuck to. Mm. I feel like it's that today. I don't know. That's the energy I'm getting from the I room. like that. The music. <laughs> but... mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That's the energy I'm getting. But one thing it? I know about Angela, she'll make a good I playlist. I love a playlist. Yeah. Let me so tell you this something. this album plays like mm, a sex when playlist. you want to fuck someone to when you start fucking them to realizing that, wait, is this love or do I feel like I want to be forever with this person? Oh. Is it a one night stand? Mm-hmm. And then you try and move on, but the dick's that good. Ooh. Then you stay, mm. and then you're like, no, nah, fuck you, I've got to go. So you Damn. not necessarily <laughs> cheat, but you weren't even together in the first place. Okay. So you know what? Am I hurt? How can you get hurt from someone that you weren't really with? It's stupid. Mm. So situation shit. So situation <laughs> shit. No, no. dick situation shit. <laughs> Period. Then turn to possible forevers. Mm. <sighs> That's what it's so what poetic. A journey. It's so poetic, <laughs> and everybody can relate to that. Absolutely, slightly. So yeah, for 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 you, slightly. for that's what this album is. That's that's what I feel like it feels like today. Casablanca. So where did you get the inspiration for this? Because <laughs> you are a married lady. A married I am, woman. Mm-hmm. and that's fine. Okay, no, that is, and that's fine. <laughs> so let me ask you, what changes after you get married? Like as far as your relationship? I mean, we're we're good. What changes as far as like creating music from a no, place I mean, of as far like as just the, everything? As far as the relationship, like in your journey from when you guys first met, and I uh-huh. know you kind of made the first move. Of course. <laughs> the finest shit. Which we'll talk about in a, a second. Because yeah. I want to yeah. know if y'all be doing that. But um, you made the first move. You guys uh-huh. got engaged, had a beautiful uh-huh. baby. We did. Um, but once you get married, some people will say things change. Some people will say, no, it's, it's the same as it was. Did anything change? What was we different? Ev- we evolve. I think we learn each other so much that you kind of grow with each other. The change is constant and you just have to know that the person that you fell in love with might not be the same person now Mm -hmm. and be okay with that. So it's Mm -hmm. repeating, trying to repeat that magic that you had sometimes doesn't work. It's finding other ways to connect with each other as you're both building and growing. So I feel like that's the change is just being open to being honest and falling in love each and every day again and lust each and every day again it's exciting it's a chase mm. not a just a writer a therapist by the way right? <laughs> no. I've got it <laughs> call me 1-800 uh, Casablanca get it so okay because I, I remember the story about you guys meeting and um mm-hmm. and kind of like from the first time y'all hung out that was it not necessarily. Okay, I think that's what he I claims get. that I ignored him. I did not. I was so consumed with trying to get this reunion tour at the time. It was game six of the Cleveland Warriors <laughs> game in Cleveland. We started the tour in Cleveland. So I want to go watch the game. I could give a fuck who that is. And I think I noticed him the next day, red fitted. Who the fuck is that? Why did no one tell me? It was like, Marsh, we literally introduced you yesterday. I was like, I was watching the game. I wasn't even looking at him. So now it was me being inquisitive. Like, so what's up? And my version of what's up is, what's up? What is it? What is it? What's up? (laughs) (laughs) Know what it is. So then I think a week into it, we just started talking. And then by the time we got to Virginia, it was the infamous long walk trying to get something to eat. And then we kissed and I was like, oh, shit, my vagina started fluttering in ways that you give me not butterfly. You give me butterfly, 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 butterflies, butterflies in your vagina. Mm. 
And for someone to do that to me in such a way, (laughs) I was just like, you know what? Um, I think this is going to be something. So by the time we got to Philadelphia, I told my homies, oh, we're going to go to such and such a restaurant, Continental actually, Mm -hmm. on Chestnut, where it was at at the time. I'm like, I'll meet you over there. And we never left that hotel. We just fucked. And it was like what I thought was going to be a one night stand because I'd never done anything See? like that you shit. You never had a one night stand. That was your first. No. Well, that wasn't a one night stand. It lasted had... forever. Yeah. The well, first one night stand was her on air, We said if you knew <laughs> someone eternity. and then had a one night stand, is it technically a one night stand? It is because mm-hmm. I knew I liked him and with intention, I was like, oh, we're going to fuck. I didn't know we were going to fuck again and again and mm. again mm. and again. So my one night stand technically hasn't ended. <laughs> we just keep it's still having. standing. OK, we, so, yeah, that um, brings us to the single one night stand. So was that really about that experience that kind of turned into It was forever. a culmination of experiences. OK, OK. Was, uh, <laughs> I had I've like had uh, <laughs> several, you know, we're yeah. grown in here. Yeah. So it was about that, but it was about so many other things. It was that dick pic you received unwarranted and you're like, oh, the fuck. I remember that one, though. You know, it's right. like dicks you've remembered in your past that you wanted to have passed up on. And it's you wake up in that glorious moment of... Well, for me, I'm a Leo. It's conquering the moment. So the morning after, and it's like, ooh, who the fuck was that? And what did you just do to me? <laughs> that feeling. Love that feeling. So from a place of that feeling and all of the experiences, yes, it's about him, but it was about others. Okay. And it was a, a wild ride and gives you butterflies. Just Butterflies. butterflies. What would make you pass up on a dick? Like what are some several things? Tell us it's, what are the reasons why? Because I I can think of a couple. Okay, right? I can think of one in particular, and I really liked this guy. Like I really did. It was too small. Mm. Oh, that, and what, it's not that ding ding ding. Number one on Family Feud. It's not too <laughs> small. And, and I'm saying like not <laughs> size matters. Women. You have to be matters, <laughs> but not something that's too small. Yeah. And he wasn't small. It just wasn't what I was accustomed to mm, and listen. wasn't long term going to do the job, the savagery mm. that I required right. with my appetite being at its all time high at that, at time. that time. And I was like, mm. and I was coming off the dicuation ship mm. that I had. And it was like, <laughs> I can't go from that to that. Like, come yeah. on. Do you think I'm... that he knew that's why? Because I feel like. No. Okay. No. Because how do you like slide out of that? Know. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> that you fucking literally slid right out. Like, yeah, done. Oh, and then the blame is on you. You're too gushy. No, you're fucking not. You just can't get in there. You're too gushy. Because like, I feel no. like guys with little dicks, that probably happens to them a lot. It's right? Like, like you're right out. there and then the woman's like, you know what? I, oh, I want to stress that it really wasn't small. It just wasn't big enough. It wasn't okay. it. Mm. Yeah. It's not okay. small, but it wasn't, it's not big yeah. enough. It just wasn't the dick That is me. the number one reason I think that happened to me. This guy's dick was, uh, it felt like it was some type of, uh, I don't want to say handicap. Oh, that's far. It took it really far. <laughs> no, but it was like, <laughs> it felt like, you know, it could have been like a large vagina. Uh, no, I don't know about that. It was really, really small. It was like a button. Damn. No, it wasn't. I promise you, like one of those never. large clips. Like, that it was that movie Hangover where you find uh, the uh, and you're like, huh? it was kind uh, of like yeah. a thumb. I feel kind of bad for guys. Uh, I do because what can you do? do. Yeah, surgery now, no. But. no, even surgery is not like they can make it maybe like an inch or two longer, but not much more than that. Yeah, so no, you may as well just have a toy. Than. Like, mm-hmm. I'd rather Strap fucking on. play with myself or like a motor tongue. You need a motor tongue. A motor tongue. I haven't had the motor tongue. A lot. Well, a <laughs> Got a personal motor tongue, but not yeah, not a handheld. What's I don't want like? a handheld. Yeah, no, you know yeah, what I mean? No, not, not for the tongue. Handheld. No, that's weird. A dick though. I used to have this ultra. What was it called? Not that I used to call it the Andre three thousand, but it was it was purple. <laughs> it was called something Ultra three thousand, and I just I don't know. 
I okay, think I'm in love. The, the love <laughs> below. Right, the love below the love was purple. Below. It had like the balls in it and it used to spin and it had like the two prongs in the front. It's like, no, the, the, rabbit. like the tiny So like a giant rabbit. Yeah. So think about a really nicely sized dick that, with that the things that Hold spin. That, that's I didn't why say I was getting was all small. the way on it, but it had the two Marcia prong thing chill. in the front, she like the this. vibrator. Right. So think about the dicks like this and it's got the two prong thing that used to play with your clip in the front and then... The mind blowing orgasm you'd have offered, like it saved me from a lot, actually. I think. Wow. Like, like you know I, I had a lot of like unnecessary, unwarranted dick offered that I would have taken had I have not, not had, had my 3000. 3, like, no, I'm good. I don't need the headache that comes yeah. <laughs> with, wow. with, with that hookup. You know, don't you feel good that like, Coming up, and we were talking about this before the show, we didn't have social media. Oh my gosh. When we were at the peak of our. I did. Yeah. I did. Yeah, I did my dirt <laughs> clean. My dirt yeah. was clean. I'll always say that. Um, I'm glad that I escaped somewhat unscathed. Right. Somewhat. Because for fuck's sake, Philadelphia, I'm blaming <laughs> the city. What a what a time. If you Listen, weren't outside you was in the there, 2000s. You all those were beards. there when it was like that time. Listen, like you came it was right AI, in the of, it was yes. like oh, wow. McNabb, yes. it was Blue Zet, it so was Red Sky. So 2000 when I started was, working at at Delilah's, yes. okay. That's, well, I Delilah. left in 2005 though. I left to move to, I live in Atlanta now. Well, I was there f- but, from 2000 <laughs> to 2005. We'd had run-ins. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely yeah. had Let me tell you, you know, my best friend is from Philly. Mm-hmm. And so, Santi. 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 And so I would go and, like, stay at her house in Mount Airy and yeah, spend the whole summer in Philly and have the time of my life. Yeah. It's and a have beautiful place. So much fun. Pause, and I missed it. I the do. guys in Philly was lit. I'm not going to lie. I like Philly guys. Time. In the 2000s, <laughs> the Philly guys were so fine. I used to do drive-bys on the airport. Because they used to work at the airport. It was US Airways. And they would be the guys that take the bags outside. Ooh. And we would just drive by the terminal. And just look at it. Like, <laughs> Damn, you <laughs> fine. What time you off? <laughs> Listen, the security dude at Van Gogh. I used to come in his neck every time. He used to just wow. think I'm saying it because I'm trying to get in the club. I'm but like, really no, was, fam. Yeah. Like, <laughs> to like, take, yo, DJ active, tell your home boy, <laughs> what's up? He's like, Marsha's trying to really get at me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Fuck, this is not a drill. Yeah. Like, come on, so, get with it. Yeah, it Remember South Street used to be, like, I really used yeah. to go and just South walk Street up and used down to be a vibe. South Street. Such a tourist, yeah. but it was yeah. so much fun. It was. Mm-hmm. I mean, I used to, well, performing at the TLA, I used to walk home after performances, but we'd go to like Fluid or Latest Dish that was on the corner, Copa, which was on the corner, mm, and the drink corner. every flavored mojito Mar- you could think <laughs> yes. of or margarita. Yes. And I remember sitting there after a gig for hours and didn't realize how much I'd been drinking Ooh, and you couldn't up. stand up. Oh, you I, couldn't I, stand I tried up. to stand <laughs> wow. up. They're like, Mars, let's go. I was like, but I cannot. <laughs> we gotta wait. All right, go the where? The floor moved before uh, I did. They were like, wow. Mars, 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 chill. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, the worst Philly, when you're young you and you outside. don't know better. Oh, no. Philly that Long Island iced tea. Oh. I remember when I was younger. Why did no one tell me? What listen. I used to why? throw those back yeah. sick. I, uh, so they don't sell that anymore, by the way. They don't do long th- sell. When's the last season? time you it's see that on a menu? Illegal. You just got to be. It's a little bit illegal. It has to be. You, you gotta mix that much liquor. It's, it's probably not on a, a menu because like people have different... like signatures drink. But you gotta you if you ask for it, they'll make it for you. Yeah, for sure. but nobody like that used to be a thing back yeah. then. Like, yeah. let's get a Long Island. People yeah. listening have no idea what a Long Island iced Every tea is. Every liquor, vodka, <laughs> rum, gin, tequila, triple sec. It and tasted it, good, and it too. tasted good. Yeah, <laughs> no, it didn't. Yes, it did. Yeah, You're I trying it... to pretend in your mind it tasted, it tasted good. good. You it, thought it, it did. felt good. It oh. did not taste huh. like right. anything but really strong gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> not that I know what that tastes like, but that's right. what it was. So there's nothing. <laughs> Nothing good in my about mind, that drink. No, mm. you no. I doubt that. I'm, I'm not going. I'm not buying that. Let's get into this song "One Night Stand" mm. because mm. we got a little sneak preview. Yes, and I love by it. the way, we've had conversations about "One Night Stands" up here, of course, on a couple of different occasions. Mm-hmm. Now, Jasmine always talks about one she had, but it wasn't really a one night stand. And we want to first, Marsha, can you can you define for us what it is, and then Jasmine's going to tell you. Okay, a one night stand is when you fuck someone that one time. That you said you was gonna fuck them. That's it. That's it. That Does it night. have to be somebody like? Because in my head, it's not somebody you've known for a long time. You think it's yeah. a stranger? Usually, yeah. people no, think a stranger. No, it's your decision. Your vagina. 
immediately saying, I'm fucking that. Whoever that is, it doesn't have to be a stranger. You could know them, mm -hmm. could come out of the blue, like could be someone that you've known for forever who never knew you wanted to smash. And it's that one time where you decide to just say yes. Oh, and one time and one time yes. only. <laughs> one time and one time only. If that's oh, what you want to say. Yeah. What if it happened twice? Don't deny what you feel. Um, then you're in the dickuation situation. And that was it. Yeah. A dickuation ship. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So, because we have so many questions about what is a one night stand. To me, I always looked at it as like. And in my head, it's very romanticized. Like you're on vacation or you're somewhere, you meet somebody, you're in the club, you do it once. Y'all don't even really like exchange. You might not even remember his you name. You might not even know my real name. And then that's it. So how Stella got her group back? That sounds like a one night stand to me. Yeah, that's pretty much. That's, that's how... romanticized one night stand. That's cute. That's yeah. nice. But <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> that's cute or whatever. And, and then in a one night stand, do you go all out or are you only having mm -mm. sex? Because like some people will be like, I'm not sucking no dick. I'm not. Well, this is the thing where it gets tricky. If you <laughs> didn't know the person and you were on your whole goddess vibes and you're like fuck it i'm gonna do shit that i never did because mm. that's the goddess mm. vibe yeah because okay. you're like who's gonna tell who's gonna know right. they don't know me they don't even know that i'm not like this right so it's almost like let me just get out of my comfort zone and go for the, all the things that i ever mm. wanted to do that's he and i think and that's what a one night stand should be we don't know each other yeah. yeah and so i might as well just like do some crazy shit May yes well. how often do we go into a one night stand knowing that that's what it's going to be though because usually mm -hmm. there's the intention of this might go somewhere. Mm. It's a vibe. One step, <laughs> I'm telling you, no? you don't have your own personal vagina flutters when you think about what you're going to do. It doesn't necessarily have to be the person that you want. It's when you feel sexually charged, mm -hmm. what that does to your own body. Are you in tune with you? Because you know when you want to have sex with someone that you do know. If it's going to be, oh, am I putting in the effort? Am I going to, you know... Or is it a quickie? You mm. know that. Mm -hmm. So if you're like, okay, I'm on vacation, you don't set out to go, okay, I'm going to fuck someone while I'm here. Yeah. Or you do. Yeah, or you do. Some people do, yeah. Some people, do, yeah. Some people some be like, people do. that's what, that's what I'm saying. saying. So when you've made the choice and you're like, okay, come on now, little, little thing. Come on, <laughs> Kitty. Or whatever you've named your thing. It's, uh, <laughs> Kitty. 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 Go ahead, Kitty. Kitty. What are we doing, Kitty Cat? Um, you decide whether or not it's going to be romantic or nasty or it's a different nasty. level of sex yeah like yeah. Do like you kissing get... nothing is off limits yeah because it's a vibe with the person if right. you if i want to fuck someone i for sure want to kiss you okay like you're not <laughs> it's the vibe fuckable if you're yeah. not kissable mm -hmm. we're not even crossing that you're, that's, ooh, you're like, that's not even a blurred <laughs> line it's like i don't want you on me if i don't want that passion even if it is for that moment for that moment because i will say i didn't know that who is now my forever was going to be that moment. Right. Like, I'm giving you all the fuck out so now. So you did everything the first time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't, it, and it wasn't what? just the first time. It just kept going and going and going and it's still going. Because of that one time. Yeah. Because <laughs> what if yeah. I didn't and it was just a, Meh. I know I'm into you. Ah, uh, we fucked. Ah, uh, she let me smash. And right. then I just let him smash. Yeah. yeah. Were you nervous knowing that you were going to have to see him? Because he already was no, working on it. was the, funny. Yeah, you know, I couldn't okay. wait to tell the whole I couldn't wait, like, <laughs> wait to get in the group chat. Guess what I had? Told my mother and everything. Like, I you, told your mom. you told your mom? Wow. I told him when I kissed him, I was like, Mom, I'm going to fuck him. <laughs> she was like, I knew it. I was wow. like, how did you know? I said, I just know you. I said, well, I'm going to do it. Well, fucking do it then. Fine. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Got wow. your blessing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Told the homies and they just laughed it off. We laughed and chuckled and giggled and keyed it up and gave them all the details. And this is all yes. while I know on the other side, he's given his account of right. what right. that is. This too. is what I call it a whole confession movie. to my friends. Guess who I hit? <laughs> but right. it was a for the both of us, it was an absolute a movie. movie. Like, but I you know, guys, him in my phone as movie, and I'm looking at his phone, I'm in his phone as movie. Oh, oh that's that's how romantic. That's how you know how much a guy really likes you, how he, the Still details he phone. leaves out with his friends, because mm. they don't tell it all. Mm. They'll oh, no, say. Sure he said everything. He said everything? Probably did. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Which doesn't make me uncomfortable in front of his friends. It actually gives me confidence. I'm like, a, I'm, yeah. I'm Come really on, big lying. So, wait, are you, yes, are you really, really nasty? Define really, really nasty. Because my really nasty might be like basic to someone else. Like, <laughs> what's what's the really nasty? What would you classify? Like a lot of different bodily fluids, spitting, licking mm -hmm. booty, like. <laughs> <laughs> 
you know, cleanliness is close to godliness. So when we're there and it's, you know, as long as it's clean. I'd. What's the nastiest thing you've ever done? Me? I'm going to be honest. Gigi's probably better <laughs> at answering that yeah. question because I'm very, I'm not going to lie. I'm very like basic. Okay. When it comes, I don't like people spitting in my mouth. I've had people ask me to spit in their mouth, and it's always been a little gross to me. Uncomfortable. But I know people. But it depends like on it. the purse. But I know people yeah. love that. It's just yes. not, not my I'm, thing. Well, I, 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 I'm not into this. Okay, okay. So, but I'm, but, but, I but say, I um, I'm very accepting of what people do, but for me personally, uh-huh. I'm very like, I don't want to spit. Like, I'm, Mm-mm, you know I'm what I'm it. saying? And I spit on the dick, but I don't Mm-mm. want the yeah. spit in my mouth. I, don't, I, do. I don't want them spitting okay. in my I mouth. I do. From him, though. It has to be him. Because like, guys have been like, spitting in my that, mouth. And I'm yeah, like, oh, I want that. I don't well, want to do that. I'm giving and receiving. It's <laughs> 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 I'm very basic. I am. I am. I'm basic. Like, I do what I do, you know, and I, and I love having, like, all different positions in sex. But when it comes to fluids and things like that, it's not... Necessarily, <laughs> my, it's not you my know thing. what? Also, I don't like that. I feel like a lot of women like I don't like I don't like when it's my butt is super wet and like yeah, me my, neither. Like when it eat when oh, it's, it's too but yeah, and it's it drips, too, it's yeah, like it's, okay, it's, it's getting a lot. All right, and yeah, I'm, see, yeah. I, see, I'm I'm in a puddle. Well, I'm in. I don't have a choice. I'm in the puddle too. But I just I'm it's not it. my. Fa- I would. I'm drowning. <laughs> yeah, drowning. I, you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah. I don't like I don't like the feeling of a, a, your, like up, up swampy in your butt. Swampy in your butt. Yeah, right. I don't Swamp like the butt. feeling of the spit in my butt yeah. crack. I don't like the feeling. I wish I did. Yeah. But I think that when you're drunk, anything goes more. Like you yeah, could get I'm me to do a lot to more yeah. if I've been yeah. having some drinks. That's unfair. It, uh, you can't. You can't <laughs> yeah. do that. It has to be more of like. I mean, yeah, we you. do feel like when we lose our inhibitions when yeah. we're inebriated. I right? do for sure. Yeah. I think when people ask you things too, it kind of like makes you think too hard about it. People kind of right. have to like it's it's a go with the flow yeah. thing. Like mm-hmm. I'm never eating ass. It's just not gonna. It's not a natural <laughs> like. Oh, I'm gonna go there. Like we're gonna do so many things before that even becomes a request. It's not mm-hmm. a request. It's sexual energy. Yes. Mm-hmm. So the fluids and the spit and when you love someone, all of those things are just things. Tune out the noise and it's sex Tune and it's out sexy and it's lust. And it's love and it's connection. It's different. Like, I remember being asked to bite someone. Okay, I could do that. But when I say bite, like, I bite. like vampire bite. shit. Ooh, like, yeah. break the skin. Like, yes. Ooh. Like, bite me. And I didn't realize how into it I'd actually be until I did it. Mm. And just to... You broke skin? Broke skin. Ooh felt him get crazy hard and it turned me on in a way that I was like, have I been a vampire this whole time? <laughs> or are they the vampire and they turned me? <laughs> turned me into a vampire. vampire. That's your okay, maker. My, yeah, so I was like, no, but then am I his maker? Because yeah. I bit him. And I, I couldn't work it out. I was like, how does this work? Like, yeah, yeah, so am I the vampire and he's the vampire, but we're both vampires and we, we both beat each other. We both eternally like, yeah. what the fuck? What's happening here? I didn't even get it but until you liked it, it was. Though. Oh my god, it was intense. Mm. Do you like getting bitten too? I didn't, and then I did. It was weird. Sometimes it depends on who it is. Mm-hmm. Of yeah. course, I was. I, I was thinking this the next day where it was being, where I was being bitten. Is it going to show? Like, and then you tune out the noise and give a fuck, and go, okay, bite me. <sighs> oh shit, bite me harder. Do you like being choked? She got to like slightly. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's not, yeah. That's it's not necessarily necessarily a necessarily vocal. It's, <laughs> a, <laughs> it's, okay. a, it's a pressure. <laughs> I like pressure. I yeah, yeah, it's important. Gripping and pressure, but yeah. The pressure can help. <laughs> me, me, me. No, don't, don't take away the... <laughs> the pressure yeah. can yeah. definitely help the uh, intensity of the orgasm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, what so about, that's the best time yeah. to choke is like when you know you're about to come. But it's or when you know the best time to bite. Yes. Listen. My same concept. I'm assuming. I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna bite. Is. I'm gonna tell somebody to bite me. When I, I think my man likes being bitten. He bite hate me. me for saying this, I like. Bite. He I, does I like that. Skin though. I like bite. I never broke yeah, his skin, bite. but I think he likes Listen. that. I, mm, <laughs> dang, got me thinking about some shit. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna write what in the vampires going on here? <laughs> Vampire right. Diaries. Vampire Diaries and butterflies. And butterflies. <laughs> And you know what else is true too? Since we're talking about all those things, even from getting our pussy ate, like. 
there's some guys that do a great job and some guys that just you like it's okay. Ugh, that's I'm so good. annoying. Like, and I, I don't like. I just don't think they know how what's supposed to be done. I think it's a myth. I think it's very pornographic, and they're not paying attention to what's actually supposed to have been targeted at that point. I'm gonna give directions. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's like no that. You don't yeah. need to be where your dick would be right now. Like, <laughs> right. You just give me don't dick be sticking at that your point. tongue all the way like, in. I don't mm-hmm. get out. Give mm-hmm. me your dick or put it right there, or I'm gonna get this silver bullet <laughs> and, and I'm show you I need to handle. where that actual place is, yeah. and then take me all the way to the king. Yeah, I remember one guy was doing it like it was a piece of raw meat. And he, was just, I mean, he was back and forth, back. I was like, all right. See, I, I hate this thing. That's Calm like, down. you've seen don't too many movies. It's not how yeah. don't, do don't do this. It's not a porno. Everybody yeah. relax. <laughs> so you're making me go back to when you say what changes. I think after I pushed an entire baby out of my vagina, <laughs> you just kind of get a little self-conscious as to what that's going to be like mm. afterwards. So I think I was definitely terrified about how that birth was going to be. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to push her out. What's my, what's, am I going to be tight? No. <laughs> Does it come back? I don't... So you didn't have a C-section. You did no, a vaginal. Okay. She was a week late. I was induced and they assumed I was going to have to have a cesarean. And they were like, no, no. Oh, here she, she has a lot of hair. Let's let's go. Oh, Push her out. That's a good thing. We love it that. It was yeah. like, it was really a great delivery. But thinking about what my vagina was going to be like after that was the, how does this change our bedroom dynamic? And mm-hmm. I feel like I was very self-conscious mm-hmm. until pregnancy and the after effects of it, I was horny the entire time. Are you pregnant? Oh my God. A lot of women say that. Oh, Were you? Yeah. It's nope. too no. much. I, mean, I didn't though. have anybody. If I had somebody when I was pregnant, I probably would have been. Oh, oh, I was. It was. That oh. That sucks. Yeah. I to never be got pregnant to... and had I don't think had... I, I had sex my whole pregnancy. Oh no. Because no guys want to have sex with you like, while you're pregnant. I got really horny. That's in my a third lie. Trimester. Do not believe that. There were oh. plenty of them that were right, absolutely right. willing. Oh my God. <laughs> Men, it's graceful. They're like, I can't get a pregnant. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> you said you weren't? I had. No, I, I was. Mm-hmm. My third trimester, I wanted to do it all the time. Like what the about last my... couple of days before I went to labor, I was fucking like crazy. <laughs> what about post pregnancy? How long before you. What did my doctor interested. say? I can't remember. Whatever the doctor said, six wait, weeks. that is six weeks. And then you were ready to have sex Yeah, again. the fifth week and sixth yeah. day. Uh-huh. How many, like, yeah. okay, How many hours? I feel, like have, I feel like you have I a high sex drive. Early. I do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I really do. I didn't yeah. realize I did. Because I did go through a period where it was crickets. Mm-hmm. Like, like how long is a period? Anything. Over a year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was on tour Ooh. the entire time. So it was writing music and experiencing yeah, life. And, and like yeah, I said, working. the dick that just wasn't worth me risking it all for. Like, right. uh, we got to think about that. Like, do I, is this worth a notch on my belt? No. Yeah. You no. Do have to, and I men don't, don't have, think about that. But women that. be like, mm, I don't know if it's worth me. Yeah, no. Yeah. You're not about to be a body count. And yeah. I don't have many of them, thankfully. Mm-hmm. And you really have to make really crucial decisions as to who you're going to share your space with. Right. Like, it's precious. It really is. You really got to be like, if you're getting in there or getting on it or doing things to it, you have to be something <laughs> phenomenal. Like, why, why when you could do it yourself? Right. Like, the shit that I can do to me? Mm-mm. mm <laughs> You yeah. better be able to do better. You have to. You know, some you people take to. a break from sex purposely because they feel like it'll make them more focused. During that year, mm. did it make you No, I was were a you angry? all over the place. Wasn't angry. <laughs> I can take my I can well angry? I don't know if I was, because I can take it out on the music. <laughs> so it came out in the forms of 69 or right. So Good or Where Are My Shoes and all of these songs that I'd fantasize about. Right. <laughs> so it's I'm creating the the vibe that I wanted for, you know, my love life to be and just never had that until, you know, a couple of years down the line where I'm like, yo, I yeah. want something special yeah. and I'm going to wait for something special. Like, I didn't come all this way to have something basic. Let me have something oh, no, that. that's right. So what was it like when you stuff. did break the seal after over a year? It was fucked up. I shouldn't have done that either. And I did. And it was the one that wasn't big enough. Oh. It was really nice, though. Nice guy. Like, it started with 
it was a lot of sexual tension, sexual energy. He wanted it, I wanted it. And when I decided to do it, it was a rooftop party in LA and we were with about five or six other friends, went back to his room overlooking the pool party. My friends went to the other room and I kind of just shut the door and just this gave them amazing. some head. Mm -hmm. And all the other hotel rooms, could, if you were looking, you'd you could see, see that. And I really didn't give a fuck. Yes. Kind of blew his head off just for the that moment. moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I wanted that for him, but for me. Mm -hmm. And I also wanted to test what I was working with. Mm, so you, that's and how then, you found cause out. I, yeah, because okay. I went from <laughs> a, a substantially larger <laughs> dicky relationship uh. prior to it, where I had to do a lot of work to make that dick feel <laughs> what it needed to feel. Like, mm. for fuck's sake, how much... how. <laughs> How much more fucking do we need to do until you are sat? I can't. I'm exhausted. Wow. Like that dick wore me out. So then to get this basic one mm. where I'm like, yeah. it's okay. Basic economy. But I can conquer it. Price. You know what I mean? Maybe that's what it was. I just felt like I I really conquered it. <laughs> too I easily. Made, yeah. But by the way, like, too you easy to conquer. Not, Way like, easier yeah. for oral. Well, yeah, you gotta think it. Yeah. You know how yeah. easy that Damn, is. Damn, it was yeah. like twenty four seconds. <laughs> wow. I was. I. I wanted to. In my head, I had all of these things I wanted to do that I didn't even get to do. No, you didn't even get there. Night already. Uh, the friends are knocking so at the door like, what you guys are doing? Oh, clean yeah, up and then go back to the party. So y'all didn't have sex. Right. You, you just gave him head. No, that's I just how you gave him head and I was like... And that's how she okay. knew that it wasn't... It was like an easy deep throat. Yeah. It wasn't worth... <laughs> yeah. It wasn't worth going any further yeah. than just the head. I mean, that's good Aww. that you did that first so you could know. You know. But like, at least you didn't hurt his feelings. <laughs> well, maybe she did. I'd, uh, right. You know I don't know. Well... By the Would way, you that... really admit that this was about you? It, like, and no. you know what? No. It's it's no, no hard feelings, and they know who they are. Right. And I really truly appreciated our time. Literally, no hard and feelings. It's. I, knew that was <laughs> I looked at you. It was great. It was great. She's been Pun storing intended. it. Mm -hmm. No hard feelings. Wait, say that. Like, like someone interrupted, but I gotta say this. I gotta say this. <laughs> it set me up for the love that I knew oh. I you deserved. Are. Yeah. And I feel like. That was the stepping stone. So you know really how amazing it out. is when you really like a guy and his dick is great? Like, that is like... Yeah. A unicorn. Yes. Like, yeah. It's not supposed to happen. Like, it's that's ridiculous. the best feeling because yeah. you're like, this is mm. going too good. <laughs> and then when you get there and you're like, oh my God, like, you <sighs> can't go anywhere because yeah. this is too good. It's yeah, it's terrifying feeling. a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, yeah, I'm kind of in that space. <laughs> Well, that's like, right. what the fuck else we supposed to do? I mean, we can do because we find so many other things to do. But <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a great place and a great space. And so in, in um, with One Night Stand, you also talk about like waking up, doing it again. <sighs> See, in, in my mind, a One Night Stand is like you did it, get out. You know what I'm saying? But this feels like more than just a one night stand when you're like laid up, waking up, doing it again. Yeah, that's not a well, one night stand. No, it kind of wasn't hours. Well, initially with the song, it was, I get this feeling as I'm looking at the ceiling and it's it's early in the morning and still we're heavy breathing. Mm -hmm. I thought we'd only go a couple rounds, mm -hmm. a couple naps in between. Now we're back at it for a couple hours. Mm. I called you an Uber and it came and went. <laughs> And I'm probably going to get fined for that. Yeah. It's cool, though. But it was worth it. Yes. Because you too fine for that. Mm. You fine as shit. And then it was, it must be this amazing dick that allowed me to stay there. So I wanted the one night stand. But what makes you stay? What makes you have breakfast? What's the awkward slip out of the bed, boomerang? Remember the movie Boomerang mm. moment? Yes. And it's like, uh, I'm out. So Look at them peace. toes. Exactly. <laughs> like, what makes you not do that? Is it that good? So it's not necessarily restricted to that one night. Mm -hmm. But that's what this whole album did. I think Casablanco and being around so much male energy mm -hmm. and seeing how they respond to melody and suggestion. It was like seducing each and every single person in the room and catering to those feelings. And that that's why all of that album is just sex to me 
Yes, I can't wait to fuck the. This down. song sound like a movie. Too. I already know who I like, want to give even it to. The way this song the first time sounds, I hear it, <laughs> the production of it, it sounds like a movie. It's yes. high end. It's it's orchestra. It's it is. The beginning. I was like, oh, is this the same song? When we were listening to it over, I was right. like, is this the same song? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like at the end, everything. I was like, I can't wait to see this perform live because it's going to mm. give me that extra like. Exactly. You should do some singles events. Like now, imagine this, right? Okay. <laughs> Seriously, I feel like we do. A gift bag giveaway full of the three thousands and Ooh. you know Woo! a nice little bullet. Because I honestly, I had a meeting with Tinder and... the other day. Okay, and you know a lot of people hook up that way, but they have all different levels of like you know dating when it comes to because a lot of people I feel like are using these apps. Some people are finding their forevers, right? But a lot of people, people are finding their right now consensually yeah. hook yeah. up, like consensually. I'm... And, and I feel like that's okay. And yeah. I feel like that could be something great. Right? Like imagine an event where everybody knows we're coming here to to look for, you know, something. But that's look what my shows are. That's yeah. You don't to come it. to a Marshall Ambrosius show like single and expect to leave that way. I tell the guys, <laughs> like, that's where you need to be. Concerts. Because the women will be there. Yes, they will. Mm-hmm. Concerts, yeah. listening yeah. to and center. Yeah. Music You're smart. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. You would do that. So, yeah. I, How many people have told you they hooked up at one of your concerts? Oh, several. I've yeah, got I'm marriages, sure. babies, mm-hmm. the whole bunch, proposals. Yeah. Just had one in New York, um, December. That's so, a great feeling to know yeah, that you could impact. You're part I of their life. a lot of Never. babies <laughs> made. Yeah. Like, the procreate in between, you know, Philly 2000s to now. Dang, there's 24 year olds. 24 year olds. Yeah, because, like, yeah, thanks to you. They grown. Yeah. Thanks to you. They, they for sure grown, I mean, graduated, living their lives now. Yeah. So that's a beautiful feeling. And mm-hmm. I do that with intention. I feel like I've always c- come from a place of creating music that allows you to escape and do the things that you always thought you could do. Even when you didn't want to do them. Like, let me dream bigger. Like, who says, yo, mom, I'm going to go to Atlanta and just figure this out. And I'm never coming home because it's worked out for me now. (laughs) Just for that one decision, Mm -hmm. you know, and music has brought me that way. So I kind of moved that way in life. For Casa Blanco, how much of the album is done? All of it. All of it's done. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. I think the easiest part was to record it because in the midst of Dre, Dr. Dre had that aneurysm the top of January mm-hmm. of 2021. So I'd gone through my own situation, near-death experience, the end of 2019. So it was like we connected over that pandemic year when it was like, okay, if the world was going to end yeah. What would we actually do? Mm-hmm. So at that time, I was ready to quit music. I didn't even want to do it oh. anymore. I'm like, Dre, I like the team that you have. I love creating here. I'd love to produce and write more music and, you know, just chill. And he was like, nah, you got, you got one more in you. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to see you happy. I want to make sure that musically you're doing what you're supposed to do for the world. And we started recording what is now Casablanco. And if we'd have known what it was during that time, I'm pretty sure more of it would have been documented, but we were laser focused. I mean, Mm. he let me do whatever in that studio. It was like, oh, we need a horn section. I'm calling them right now. Horn Mm. section it is. Oh, we need strings. Let's get it. Oh, we need guitar, drummer, bass, everything. There were no boundaries. It was, I love that. We played good with music. Literally in one room, so myself, them joints, focus, Bluetooth, like just going back and forth with ideas. And I'm, like where that light is is where my microphone would be. Dre would be sitting right there, and we're creating in the same room. So, like I said, all male testosterone, mm-hmm. egotistical maniac energy, mm-hmm. yeah. and I'm like and your softness. That's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all the songs, like just you know how many of those guys sexy. probably make calls after, after the oh, yeah. yeah. Like every every time it was yeah. like, yo, I'm slide out. Bet right. you are. <laughs> bet, I bet like, you are. <laughs> and I felt empowered by that. I love that. Because <laughs> yeah. I being the only female, whether it was a female engineer, shout outs to Lola. Um, it was really just does. And it's how can we conquer these rooms? and turn the energy around in our favor each and every time. And you that's did. what I'm saying. Like with, with sex, you do that same thing. Mm-hmm. How do you turn the energy in your favor? <laughs> like you have to be empowered by what you have 
and understand the value in that. I understood my value in that room. Yes, mm -hmm. that's Dr. Dre, and I know what he does. He doesn't do what I do. Right. And bitch, I'm me. And I felt like <laughs> he encouraged that and literally... Dwayne Wade alley you did to me like I was LeBron every time right. seamlessly. So on the record, it's produced by Dre, produced by Marsha, produced by Dre, produced by Marsha, written by Marsha, 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 several other people. And it's all of these samples and intricate moments from culturally, our culture, culturally significant hip hop or jazz or pop or... <sighs> Rock, just wait. to make you go, oh, I remember that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And just hear all of these things that make you feel good in one space. So that one album for me was all of the trauma, all of the survival, all of the, I almost quit this shit. To... What do you think you would have done if you quit? Just been behind the scenes or Absolutely. something? Okay. Still I'm writing. comfortable yeah. with that. Probably yeah. still writing, but just for me and for fun and not mm. for obligation. Like, yeah. it would have been. Like yeah. When like, you got time. Mm -hmm. Let me pop up, do a gig every now yeah. and again, but I'm so content on being Nyla's mother. Yeah, like, Is this your last album? Different. <clears throat> Lost, I don't know. I couldn't say. But it's nice is... to have the luxury to know I can do it if I want to, but I don't, have, I don't to. have to. Have to. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The have to is a... Uh, right. Been there. <laughs> that's pressure. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's early 2000s right there. <laughs> I definitely right. had to. Yeah. But um, no, I think I'll continue to create. I'm creative in other ways, so I'd find something to do. I know I did um, write a, a book uh, of intimate... Uh, stories. That Who are... knew you was this sexy? Wait, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh. <laughs> Who knew that you had this much? I mean, we know from your music and, <laughs> you know, it's always been sensual, but just sitting here talking to you and hearing you say like, like who, like, did y'all right. have I play basketball, that, but that I also... You, that you just had all of this sexual Get energy. butterflies. You, right. <laughs> I love that. It's amazing. Well, now you'll probably listen to my music differently. I will. Yeah, I will. Oh, sure. I will. always been on it. Been on it. Yeah. So, yeah, the intimate stories are accompanied with a soundtrack to go with that, which I'd love for people to have the audio book and just listen to the music while they're reading, oh, we you know. We need that. We like that. Yeah. Of, I wouldn't say light porn, but there are some vampires in it. There are some... Uh, <laughs> As you are. <laughs> As you are. <laughs> Rooftop well, parties. We, you know and, what a vampire is. You know what's right. interesting, yeah. though? Vampires and butterflies. Before we started this, we <laughs> exactly. talked about culturally how in the UK we always view it as like more sexual, more free, more mm, open yeah. than here in the United States. Do you think that that's true? Because I remember... You know, my first job in the music business was working for Wu-Tang, right? Wow. So I remember going to like, um, you know, different places and going overseas and going to Europe and like seeing porn on television, you know. Yeah, they were and a little naked, open And we didn't with, see that no, here in the, in the United States. It wasn't right. like that. Got you. And then also feeling like when we went there with the guys, like the women were a lot more free mm. um, sexually than I mm. feel like. I, I did feel like that, but I don't know how true that is. What is your take from having experienced both cultures? It's different. I did have the, I don't know, we all had it, you know, at age around age 14, 15, you had the friend in school that was already pregnant by her 19, 20 year old boyfriend. And we mm -hmm. thought that that was normal. Mm -hmm. Not normal at all. No, in thanks. hindsight, it was ridiculous. But we did, I don't know, for me at that point in my teenage years, I wasn't even equating it to her having sex. I thought, ooh, she's having a baby. <laughs> right. Sex part right. of it. How it I was too busy playing basketball and trying to play the piano and all of the other things. So as far as sexual liberation, yeah, there were after hours channels that used to show tits. Right. And, you know, as teenagers, we're just like, ah, like yes, it yes. wasn't sexy or sex mm. to us just mm. yet. Well, for me personally. So I do get the side where maybe it was a bit more liberating over there, but I didn't start my sexual sex sexcapade until I got to the States to in Philly. 2000. Mm. Like 2021. <laughs> I was very inexperienced, barely, <laughs> barely had a buddy. Yeah. And Turned out basically. Do you feel like you were sheltered as in a way, like being in the Ooh, no. no, okay, no, it was purple rain and Apollonia. <laughs> yes, rain Listen, I was so tired to see my brother freeze Apollonia getting out of the waters of Lake Minnetonka. <laughs> He That's used to I freeze froze. that on the what VHS tape. That I used to be like, yo, can we finish watching a movie? I'm, right. <laughs> okay, so this is where you're like, am I like 1% gay? 
not sure because Apollonia, <laughs> amazing she's butterflies, yeah, yeah. She's and it's like, was I fantasizing of being like her, or did I <laughs> want to be her? with her? Yeah, can't is, figure yeah, this right. out. And then, how dare I? Prince was what four foot eight, still <laughs> wanted to fuck him. It's not even a joke. Like, how are you this sexy with eyeliner? And a, a press heel, and curl heel, and yes. a little heel. It's Only ridiculous. Prince could get away with that. Like women love some damn Prince. They you know, but Prince is my favorite artist of all time. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you could look at him and guys would be like, "Oh, it's he's ridiculous. gay. He's this. He's got his butt out. He's got." But it's also like he's got so much sex, sex appeal. appeal. Sex, like it sex just oozes, oozes out of his pores. It's, yeah. it's ridiculous. It out of his so I couldn't yeah. work out if it was Apollonia or Prince recently. Went to Beyonce Renaissance. Did you go? Did you go Renaissance the tour? I did you see it live? Didn't see you it didn't all. go. I saw the Listen, movie. Listen, she <laughs> the came movie. out on stage in this tuxedo fit. There go the butterflies. butterflies. Right. I couldn't figure it out. I was like, Ooh. I couldn't work out. Was was I thinking about what Jay Z does to her, <laughs> right. or what I? I <laughs> you, ma'am, that part. You Not are giving everything that <laughs> yes. I need. And I don't even You've know what that. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Where Usher, you was like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I know. Well, yeah, I felt like I was obligated to do that. But you Usher were is a. To do that? I like, did, eh. and that was me. Even my husband was like, "The fuck, yeah. what's wrong with you? Like, go up there, do a little while." Yeah, do, so, oh. do you know what? I, I, yeah, I, I, I didn't do enough. I didn't. You should have done. Um, you think you should have done more? You know what it was? Absolutely. It was getting too much press at the time. Uh, yeah, and I was like, it's too much going on. It was like, give me the, the microphone, and he had like the the Bobby Brown little yeah. headset. I was uh -huh. like, come in. It, then it would have been I'm tongue kissing Usher in right. the mouth. <laughs> that I think I might have done when I was drunk in the club <laughs> in LA at one point. Every Everyone's party kissed Usher. You, you haven't party kissed Usher. You I don't wasn't, think he wasn't outside. Usher? No. Probably. No, oh, I was like, he... probably. <laughs> probably. I know he was party kissing in, in the <laughs> LA club at one point. Jasmine, like... you couldn't even get in the elevator with him. Remember, we were in DC mm -hmm. and but the, was DC? he was staying at our, he was staying Philly. at the same, oh, we were in Philly. We were, we were in Philly. Philly. Yeah. We were all staying at the same hotel for the Roots picnic and the doors opened. They were like, you can't get on. Mm -hmm. It's because it was Usher wasn't. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. That's happening lately with artists. I feel like it's, well, you know, it might be the pandemic. And I it's don't also, know. It's Is also it kind of like people be doing too much with phones. Yeah, and yeah like yes. I don't think security knew who anybody media. was. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, they yeah. Just so sometimes that yeah. it ain't really the artist because like sometimes I'm sure with exactly. You, yeah. So it's everyone's trying to shelter you from what they think is you know harmful. Like yeah. all of these clips of like artists oh, getting hit in the head with bottles. It throws. I dare you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> please don't you, no, don't don't do no. that. Philadelphia is on my side. And we've got yes. snipers. I did, like it's terrible. Like yeah, I don't know. The internet is internet, in, and people are just doing it for clicks and shits and giggles, and it's not cute. It's crazy, yeah. but yeah. Mm. Uh, and listen, the greatest. Let's talk about that song too, because mm. that was something that you put out a few months ago. Yes, yeah, so that was for the Heisman Trophy mm -hmm. campaign for yeah. ESPN, and. I don't know, it just gave me James Bond triumphant feels. So I was like, something from Casablanco that sounds in that vein. They chose that record for that particular purpose and I'm just doing its thing. It's the greatest. It's just, like, I love performing that song. It's just, I need Idris Elba's like the, I don't even want to call him the new James Bond. I just want an action hero we want that, that has yeah, like, that, would be dope. that as a theme yeah. song. Yeah. They don't just, understand how that would impact people going to the movies to see that yeah. right like, I, did you see, he just did one like we was on an airplane i'm trying to remember i just watched it on the series right yeah. yeah it's really good and i was like Hijack give me that yeah, yeah, yeah hijack hijack something. Something i was like that. give me that <clears throat> yeah, i want a new james Bond. like james I'm bond watching. already I'm exists mm -hmm. give me something action new. give right. me let him give me interest mm -hmm. yeah the greatest the theme is just oh it's waiting for you babes let's do it when yeah. it comes to you making music like for this new album Casablanco how many songs do you make because I feel like everything is so intricate and so like with you so well done but do you do like 50 songs and then we pick what makes it or is it like every song I do we do it specifically for this Casablanco was a unique experience like we went back to back with 11 to 12 songs that all made the cut. And then we just stopped when we knew we had it. That's it right there. We could keep going and it will be something else, but, but this that is shit it. right there, mm. that's it. So 
I think outside of different albums that I've done, I've continued recording until I felt like a sequence was right. Like, oh, these five songs sound like they go together and let's make an A, B, A side and a B side. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they have structure. With this one, it was like a knocking back to back. Everyone was on this crazy wave simultaneously. It was like creative genius checking in all at the same time. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, 12 songs, 13 songs, and they all kind of made it. And with Casablanco, each song is like three songs in one song. Mm. If you listen to the album, you're never going to, like you said, is this the same song? It's like, you're never going to know where you're at. It's just to play it like it is a movie from beginning to end. And just working with the genius that, you know, Dr. Dre is and the team, it was just the ICU, it was I could really do what the fuck I wanted. It was I can't next even level. Imagine what type of conversations were happening in the studio yeah, with all the guys. It was ridiculous. <laughs> we were not mature. We were like it was <laughs> it was so bad. I think one point I can't remember what had happened, but Dre actually bought me one of those uh speed bags, like I box and stuff. Mm-hmm. So he brought me a speed bag for the booth just in case I knocked someone out. So, you know, <laughs> take all your aggression out on that speed bag wow. and don't fuck anyone up in there. So I was like, yeah. So, so wait, got, you would be beefing this, it, with people having going back and forth or something? A little bit. <laughs> Creative tension, yeah, but yeah, it will yeah. always be because my pen works faster than sometimes what they're doing on the board. Gotcha. So you have a drum loop up, the chords are playing. I've written the song already. I'm ready to cut. Right. But you want to joke and kiki it up. And mm-hmm. no, get the, f- get the play the, listen, yeah. let me get the fuck out. Now everyone get out yeah. <laughs> and let me just do what I'm doing. So I think that happened with One Night Stand. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it was like, oh, we have the beat. I'm like, well, can I write the fucking song? And right. Just oh, like, everyone's, just... oh, Dre's going back upstairs and he's like, oh, I'm out. You know, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And then, oh, it's playtime? <laughs> I'm not playing. I'm right. ready to work. Like, get this work. is fun for you, but this is, yeah. I feel like we're really onto something with this. Like it's a bit bigger than the album. I was like, where's the album? Where's the al- albums? Are, that sounds so basic in, mm. in comparison to like what it's this like, actually oof. is. What it's, would you call this? What would you consider this? It's a, Casablanco has always felt like a place. Like it takes you to a place. Like I want to go there. I want to be with the people that go there and understand what that is. And yeah. It just, it's a vacation, it's a, movie. it's a destination. It is. I feel like it's an immersive experience. Like, a, it's something I've never done this before. We need to hear like this. I cannot yeah, wait. I hear yeah. it. I what do you wait. and your husband, like, okay, if you were going to uh, pick a song to get in bed and, have, and make love to, what song would that be? Oh, it'd be random. Like, we fuck from everything from Baby Shark to. <laughs> um, Come on now. <laughs> Baby you shark. have a kid and you'll find out yeah, you don't have a choice. dumbest Seven. dumb <laughs> you, you fuck end baby up. Shark. No, but we, she does love Baby Shark. She, I ain't never fucked <laughs> do, with do, do, But on do, your do, album, do, do, what would you say? Oh, on my album. Do you ever have sex to your own music? I have. Okay. How was that? <laughs> it's very, very, um, um, I don't know. It's weird. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm halfway laughing because I'm like. This is crazy. <laughs> If it's a song that I intentionally <laughs> wrote about someone then, and I'm oh, fucking someone else, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's it's different. a threesome now, right? And now oh, I'm just yeah. like, oh, yeah, it's it's too many too things. Much. And then I don't know, I get a bit frazzled. <laughs> like it's too much. Like yeah. wait, wait, back it up. I yeah. need to figure this out. Um, <laughs> Have you ever called somebody the wrong name? No, but something crazy happened to me where I was about to fuck someone and. We were passionately kissing or whatever, and he like grips me up, and I'm on top, and I looked at them, and they weren't who they were anymore. Oh. It wasn't him; it was someone else, mm-hmm. and it fucked me up. Mm-hmm. Like he looked like someone else. I used to, it like it. I don't know. It was a fucking nightmare, and I didn't yeah. fuck that person. Like, wow. uh-uh. He was like, "What the fuck? Can't do this." And I couldn't. It was like a movie, and you couldn't even like, explain it. No, I was like, what in the powerful brain <laughs> shit is this? Like, somebody I, saved you from something. Exactly. Was a and I would take that. Like, right. Don't do it. I couldn't don't even you tell you it. who that was. I just knew not the to fuck with the relationship you want. No, that you saw? Yeah, it, 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 Matt, who did I just mention? 
Idris Elba. Mm-hmm. Say you go into fuck Idris Elba. Mm-hmm. You know what Idris Elba yeah. looks like. He grips you up. You on top. And it's not him. It doesn't matter who that was. Right. This not the person. It could that be was, any. Yeah, that's, yeah. This ain't it. It what. I, I be feeling like there be certain signs that just that was, save mm, you. Yeah, yeah, I was saved that from day. things. That day. Mm. I remember one time my ex boyfriend he caught me and he put me on hold. His the other line rang, and he accidentally clicked me in. Oh, he merged and, the call. Yes, no. but I was talking and he couldn't hear me for some reason. It was like God was like, "You need to hear this." Oh shoot! And I was like, "Hello, hello, I'm st- I'm still on the phone because you know nothing had happened yet." His boy was calling and he was on the other line and he was like, "Yeah, I just he had just told me he was gonna stay in, mm-hmm. you know, whatever." And it turns out he was like he was plotting really going somewhere, yeah, to yeah. have some chick coming over to this guy's house. And I heard everything. And I was at first I was like, "Hello, hello," and he couldn't hear me, so I hung up, called him back. I said, "I heard your whole conversation." Wow, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But it was sometimes things happen Enjoy that is like. Somebody's looking out for you. Right. I don't know who it is, but that was like, mm. why would that happen? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, why would he not was... log out of his email on my laptop? <laughs> <laughs> See, we remember that story. See. Mm. Look at God. Right. Look at God. Won't he do it? God said, look at this email. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what God said. Yes, he did. <laughs> Have you ever cheated like in your past in relationships? No, I'm not a cheater. I am a, it's done. I'm mm-hmm. good. And I'll go. What am I cheating for? I hate the lie. The idea of the lie is just dumb to me. Like, what are we cheating for? So I can get excited about doing something. How many serious, before you got married, how many serious relationships would you say you've been in? Two. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a small number. Yeah, it yeah. is. Serious. Yeah. I'm a Leo. I'm not really serious. Like, <laughs> most of the time. And I go in like that. I'm like, I'm selfish as fuck. I want things my way. <laughs> until... I meet someone that shows me otherwise. And then it's, hmm. Okay. Hmm. Are you more giving or selfish in the bedroom? It's it's both ways. It's give and take. Once it's right, it doesn't even matter. It's just good. Do you um, squirt? Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> Why is it terrible? Because the whole it's squirt a mess, and Angela. then it's messy and then you vagina farting as you're trying to <laughs> go to the bathroom to like get the rest of it out. Like how you get... <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't what you thought it was. And then you're in the bathroom and you're still... <laughs> while you're sitting there That's like, babe, and you're trying to talk. <laughs> the, the, Butterfly. Literally <laughs> butterflying out of my, my out of my vata. Yeah, just ridiculous. So, yeah, yeah. But guys love that. So, is there a guy that doesn't like? I don't. Who? What guy is like? I don't, I don't like want that. that. Some guys. Yeah, no one's like saying it. they don't want it, but it, it's an involuntary response from something that they did. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can't intentionally you, exactly you do that. it. It's done. <laughs> if you hit that spot, I. Can, I can't control that shit. Uh, true. <laughs> <Ping. laughs> it's, like, it's your fault. <laughs> you did that. Like, congrats. What, 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 right. Yeah, no. I feel like for guys, that's the goal. Like, if they can make you squirt, they feel like... Like, the first time it mm. happened for you, did you know what was going on? No. No, not at all. It was uh, a strange out-of-body experience. But not more intense than the shaky leg. Okay. You had the shaky leg? Yeah, that's... See, I like that. I like to orgasm with... And I've never squirted in my life. Okay. But I will have an orgasm. Yeah. And like, you know, come. The shaky leg. And then, yeah. The shaky leg. <laughs> no, the shaky, the shaky leg, leg is different because you can't stop, stop. that. <laughs> that's ridiculous. And it's not because you've, you've been hauled up in, you know, a certain position that you haven't stretched enough that day. And that's like a workout. Like, if you're not flexible and your thigh is like, ow, and you're not <laughs> stuck after the orgasm because of that, it's because, I don't know, there's just this pressure. I don't know. You know when your knees are like all the way up mm-hmm. and it's like long dick. I'm like trying to do it. Like. Big dick. <laughs> no, like, so long you're up and dick, it's long dick, dick, big, big pressure, but it's all on your clit. So it's literally doing this, and it's when it pushes to a point where it's the bracelets for me, <laughs> right? And then you grit, I know, <laughs> and then you just—it's the explosion that your body does. Explosion That's sounds like, amazing. An explosion. It's unmatched. That for me is unmatched because it's a power that 
it's taken away from you. That's why you can't share yourself with everyone. You're yeah. powerless in that moment. Imagine someone trying to do what they wanted to do to you when you're just subdued like that. <laughs> I was like, oh, you've got me. How dare you? Dare you. It's when you're like, if you're, if you're a giver also, you put them out of commission also. Right. Like, let you try something. I'm going to get you back. Which yeah. is a great, there's nothing greater than when you put it on him and he goes to sleep. Yes. I think that's Snoring. the best feeling when he passes out and he can't help it. It's fucked up because sometimes I'll get that good dick and I'll still want to go and make a sandwich or something. I have this like burst of energy. <laughs> energy sleep, afterwards too. Right? And I'm like... Sometimes. I'm, sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. sometimes I'm knocked up, yeah. mouth open, yeah. snoring, yeah. can't yeah. even wake up, don't even touch <laughs> me. Don't touch me. But yeah. that one where I've got all the energy, I'll watch two Netflix shows, <laughs> make a drink Like, I love sandwich. you, baby. What's your mind? Right. You right. Right. Well, He's like, what is wrong sweet. with you? Relax. Yeah. No, he'll be knocked out. I'm making a sandwich. And Jasmine, oh, I didn't even let you tell your one night stand story. Oh, I, I can save it. No, no we're ready. Don't save it. This is no. one night stand is the... Okay, so I, I so I think this is considered a one night stand. I was in Vegas for one of the fights. Ooh, Vegas. Mm -hmm. And I think I met this guy at a pool party. Mm -hmm. And I think we partied, pool party went somewhere else. It's my first time hearing this story. Yeah, so. no, no, because I just, I forgot about it. Right. Yeah. So uh, we went somewhere else and then we ate, we went to eat. It was like, you know how Vegas just doesn't it's end? Here, yeah. From there to there. You this can do like every party everything. club. Yeah, we went to, we went to eat and then I went to his room. We had sex and I remember the condom got stuck. <gasps> no. Yes. So I had to go on the toilet Ooh. and like. Get the and condom out. It push was, it yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like giving birth Squat, to a condom. Push. And then, <laughs> and then I then uh, we did exchange numbers, but I saw him the next day. But I didn't have sex. So I saw him the next day, like out, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. And I was like, hey, he was like, hey. And that was that it. Was yeah, I wasn't. Really, he he like hit nothing. me a few times after, but I, you know, it's kind of like, eh. You know. So did you go in it with the intention to fuck him? Like you? What well, was his room? Pool. Of course, I knew oh, yeah, have right, sex. Yeah. Was it good? The only thing that could happen is he could talk himself out of it. It wasn't memorable, which is why you forgot. Probably. The only thing that, the thing that's memorable is the condom getting stuck. Okay. Yeah, ah. it was good. So that's the story. Yeah, that's yeah. all. That's all, That's what I remember. Like yeah. my ass went for a one night stand in Vegas, and yeah. what happened in Vegas? Stayed <laughs> Here I in am. Your vagina. Yeah, stayed in my vagina. Yeah. Here I am pushing yeah. a condom out on the table. And I can't remember his name. <laughs> like I don't, you know, like I don't even. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't see, know him if he walked. I wouldn't, that was I, definitely a one night stand. That's, yeah. yeah. That's. Yeah. Okay, you did. Like, and I forgot. Sure. Okay, you did. I would have told him before. Yeah, I would have. I forgot. <laughs> no, I forgot. So he was terrible. Uh, Until so you thought about Vegas, and you was like, "Oh yeah." Yeah, I think you know everybody. Can you remember everybody you've ever had sex with? Did you right, she I thought I did until I forgot. Until that, one. yeah, yeah. But you do remember. I remember. Barely. Remember everybody? Barely. Every single one. <laughs> I, I think I do. I think I do. Now, I may not remember a name. I'm going to keep it a buck. But I remember the situation. The situation. Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I know all the names. Yeah, I don't places. She know every detail. Gigi, you know everybody? Every detail? No. But you know everybody you had sex with? Everybody, yeah. But detail? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No details? Not mm. all the details. No, I can't. I can't remember no, details. No, all the details. I can't remember all the details. It's crazy. If it's really good, I remember details. If it, right. The significant ones, of course. Mm. But... I'm a writer, so I take oh, yeah. every oh, yeah. You take copious. Yeah, yeah. I, need, I, I, yeah like to, I need all the things. Good, like bad, or indifferent. I like to forget things that just aren't worth memory. Don't serve you. Yeah. 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 Like... <laughs> I want to. Speaking of forgetting, it wasn't um, good. I wanna... we came into this with you saying that you weren't going to drink and then you were drinking with everyone because you were going through some stuff. Yeah, I had a bad day, y'all. What did? happened? What happened? I'm actually going through a problem with my kid. I'm having mommy problems. Oh. No. We're beefing. I'm mad at her. What? You? How that never happened. happened. I'm how mad old at is my your... daughter. How she's 27. Daughter? Okay. Yeah, that... she's a you grown lady. You should never beef with okay. her. She's such a good girl. She's an adult, first of all. She's 27. Well, yes. She's still the baby. Daughters. I'm not She's still the baby. forward to any of these things. Yeah, I'm like really it's, it's How bad. old is Nyla? And we She's never. Seven. Seven, She'll wow. She's this year girl. already. We I know. Never. You know that. What? Yeah, that we yeah, never, never have any problems, I'm and I'm so days. mad at her right Why? now. Why? Yeah. Don't blame her. Okay. I'm sorry. That hurts, because Gigi never. Yeah. Okay. You said what? She's telling me don't yeah. don't rush anything. Two when two year old. Yeah, it's like you want them to start talking. <laughs> I do. Being independent, you say that <laughs> until, until it happens, happens and right. you miss your baby. Yes. You have to do that all over again, like missing your baby, okay. and then get yeah. to know your kid. Okay. Right. Does your daughter know you're famous? A little bit. 
my she'll know my songs she'll see videos and stuff and yeah kind of I don't know what that means to her though. Yeah, like, right. I mean, she's seven, so it's so yeah. unrealistic. <laughs> like it really doesn't. Like the reason why, well, partially the reason why Casablanco happened is because of a pizza party that Dre did for the kids. <laughs> so <laughs> Nyla's there at Dre's house eating pizza, bouncing on bouncy castles and eating yeah. snow cones, and that's normal for her. Mm -hmm. To be in a walk, mansion yeah, in a like, bouncy castle. At Dr. Yeah. Dre's house. Right. Regular. Yeah. As we're staying, you know, in Beverly yeah. Hills, walking red Any carpets and valet services and white tablecloth breakfast. Yeah. That's just and... normal life for her. I was like, yeah. this is unrealistic. <laughs> like, Little do you know. I don't even live like this. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Dre's allowing me to live like this. I lived like that for close to a year, 2021. 2021. I lived like that from the top of the year till like Halloween. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I was like, this is, she's not going to know any different. Right. right. And I, I don't know if I want her to. We want our kids to be better than us. Right. You know, to be used to that, only the but, best. Like... Yeah, but she's my baby. She's such a sweetheart. And I'm praying that I am showing her a better life, but that she's grateful for that and doesn't understand that. I mean, she does understand that this isn't how the majority <laughs> people, of people like, live. Yeah. Like this yeah. is yeah. like I didn't have a pool, a basketball court, and a big old <laughs> house. It never happened. Like, <laughs> but I did want that for my life. I think when I decided what I wanted, when you say, you know, am I going to make more music after this? It was I've I've clocked it. This is. Super Mario Brothers level eight. You saved the eight. princess. Uh, yeah, it's done. <laughs> Jumped over the dragon in the south. I know that's right. <laughs> but it feels good to know you don't have to do whatever you don't want to do. Yes. Like, yeah. Like, honestly, that's an amazing feeling. Do you still love it? Like going on tour, performing I in front do. of you? Okay. I really do. And that's like, the main thing. Last year, towards the end of the year, we did that run and it was, mm -hmm. you get that, I don't know, It's a, it's an adrenaline rush that you can't, explain to anyone who doesn't do that i mean even this for you guys having conversations with different energies what are we going to get from this today what do <laughs> i walk away with today that's me on stage it's like it might be the same song the same show but it's a different place energy. it's different people it's yeah. different energy mm -hmm. what does far away mean to you or what does say yes mean to you or right. what does late nights and early mornings mean to you and you know moving on into the future what's one night stand Ooh. For you, when she when you say these titles, I can hear the songs. The, the songs, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, I love it. And it takes <laughs> you to a place, but yeah. that's the power of music. And I've been fortunate enough to make a lot of you know your sexy playlists that you listen to when you want to get it on. So yeah. I'm your indirect threesome anyway. <laughs> you know what? You yeah. know, Gigi's like, I know that's right. Period. <laughs> Have you ever been with a woman? No. Apollonia in my mind. <laughs> that one time with Beyonce. No, I, I, I think I have, I adore and respect us so much. I know when I'm attracted to someone or I admire something. Mm -hmm. And there's a huge difference. And I've had many women come onto me and offer the world like the w world of pussy <laughs> like and i knew in that moment like oh shit i just don't like girls right you couldn't and say that's yes. okay too i couldn't say yes to it because it would be unfair like <laughs> even to it. try like that's, that's not couldn't something say yes. you couldn't, couldn't say, say yes. Yes. Yeah, right. it's not Remake. something i would experiment with yeah, like because right. i'm in a phase it was never a thing I'm not saying i always knew i wanted dick but what by the time i got it it's like this is i knew exactly this is what i this wanted like stay here. i knew where right. i like it right but <laughs> This is also mm -hmm. to respect what that's been for me. I know the sexual energy that I give off and exude and have allowed other people, whatever the sexual preference is, to live through the music. Yeah. So could I be with a woman? No, I don't know. You, know, she, you, know, it's the, the you part, never know. The part that, that throws me off about being with a woman is the vagina. I just, I'm not into another vagina. You want to be the only vagina? <laughs> yeah, I, I can't even put it together in my head I'm what happens or what I want to do. I'm not into the vagina. 
I can't get with the vagina. But you could also they could get into yours, and you don't have to. No, nah, into- you know. Also, I like um, I like dick. You know what I'm saying? Like I like. Show us. Yeah, how I like much dick. you like it? <laughs> I like dick. I love. I love how I love the man. Like I love how mm-hmm. a man feels and looks and stuff like that. But okay. I can respect the beauty of a woman. I, I can get do. turned right. on by a sexy woman <clears throat> and not want to fuck her. Right. right. You know what I mean? Because she has a vagina. <laughs> she <has> a, <laughs> she keeps bringing right. up this vagina. It me. It's it not about the vagina. It's the energy. Like I said, when okay. Beyonce on stage at Renaissance, yeah, it was the end. I was like, Ooh, this bitch is giving is all bad. the sex that yeah. I need <laughs> right now. And it had nothing to do with me wanting to fuck her. I felt fuckable right yeah. because of her because do you know what i'm saying yeah. and i'm not saying like I men understand. men on the other side not saying that they do the same thing but if a good looking dude walks in the room i'm like yo but he gets all the bitches saying the yeah, same right. thing exactly. yeah yeah it's the same he energy does. he does exactly get like i bet you does. get all the bitches yeah. <laughs> so Gigi's the only one in here who does the threesome yeah yeah, I, yeah, I am. I guess. So you eat pussy though? I do. Okay, how, I do, Jasmine. How does vagina <laughs> taste? How does it taste? Hopefully, I like men. hopefully, like water. Is that like a generic? Because all dick don't taste mm. same ish. <laughs> Okay, no. you might be right. After a basketball Okay, practice. so di- yeah, vaginas right. di- different vaginas taste different, uh, like have a different... Yeah. Okay. But it's just, it's usually the same. Okay, and I'm actually, I'm going to say this. I've never had like bad vagina. Okay. I've never... Is it like a texture thing? I'm trying to figure out what this... It's, I mean... You mean like the curtains? I don't know. <laughs> like... <laughs> As it pertains to a dick is yeah, like a dick, out. right? Yeah. The vagina is intricate. It is. It is. And it's inside. That's what I'm so yeah. it's yeah. like it's a commitment. slippery slide it's... and then you're on the outs. You know, it's like <laughs> layers. Hills and valleys. It's a lo- it is. Hills and valleys. Hills and well, you have no down. problem Hills playing with yours. None. With your yeah. intricate. I mean, if okay. that's it feels like your own. So it just feels so my whole thing with <laughs> with being with a woman mm-hmm. is like I play with myself a lot, right? So like Same. it's like three D masturbation. Like why well, play with myself when I can play with her and she'll play back? So it's like you know you're in the mirror, yeah. Kind of. It's like yeah. an Oculus, and especially because I like <laughs> I like Oculus. pretty, I like body, yeah. I like you know what I'm saying. I like feminine. You would like you. You would yeah, like you. you would like the so that's what I'm thinking to myself because I love me. Yeah. So we might like yeah, yeah, yeah. I like me? my body. I do like my body. Anybody who is a carbon copy of Marsha, please hit her up. <laughs> <laughs> she likes her. I like myself. Where are you? Where are you, babe? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> has a twin <laughs> out there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'll give it to you for real but listen we appreciate you so much for coming through honestly Thank we you. had a great time amazing I love this whole like I can't wait for Casablanca listen I can't wait it's a vibe already we're definitely fucking are you doing it. a tour yes I have to you have yes. to I, it, li- the live experience of it has to happen has to and happen. it's it's gonna be incredible I can't wait I'll get my tickets <laughs> Have to. And all those Marsha lookalikes, you gotta show up. Chill out. <laughs> no, chill out. Oh, no, Can you imagine out. that? A Marsha Ambrosius orgy? Oh, a bunch of Mar- Marsh, a bunch of Marsha, 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 a bunch of green eyed, big head me. <laughs> you like no. it. You like it though. I, I like me. I love me. I, I love me no, too. I, 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 well, during a show very recently, I started singing a lot of Jodeci songs mm-hmm. and I started pretending that I was Casey. Yes! And <laughs> I really started crooning and singing to a lot of ladies <laughs> in the front row, and it really got me off. See, see, like okay. badly to the point where I'm telling the band, "Don't make me walk away from this gig with more bitches than you. Don't do it. <laughs> Period. I'll y'all talk about step you up for years yeah, to come. Y'all better get it together. It was bad. Like I was like, it's been an hour since you've been gone, and oh my and god, I really long. got really so come like and go. can't live. <laughs> Oh, oh my yeah like it was cry for you it was forever my lady oh, Casey singing forever my Ooh, lady yeah. to mm, you mm, Ooh, mm, yeah. mm. <laughs> like dream listen this lady in Atlanta she was ready she was like are you really doing this right now yes it's yep. me and you babes we're going home me and you DMs babes. baby listen she went home and rubbed out something serious so did I 
at the thought and of why it. not do it together no. well you know what it's okay it's though vagina. sharing it is comes back to, it comes it back comes to it's the vagina, the vagina. Yeah. is that the type of porn you watch too would you say like lesbian porn no, no, I'm I'm really like the ebony section, and everyone has to be a. It's like a, if you're not attractive, <laughs> I can't. If or I'm not attracted to it, okay. like porn. So I'm yeah, not no, yeah, I don't do lesbian sex. No. Okay, are dicks beautiful? Yes. I've seen shiny some. ones, big Beautiful. shiny ones. They can dark, be. Dark ones. They can be, but then they can be terrible Brown too. Ones. They can be what? They can be terrible. They can look terrible. Exactly. I'm thankful looking. to not have had. They could be shaped weird. Yeah, yeah, even right. even, even the mildly, modestly sized one was very pretty. Wow. Well, I'll give it that. Okay. It was gorgeous looking. It was just modest. <laughs> that's a modest very is nice, a nice word. That's yeah. a very nice it way to say it. It's a humble penis. <laughs> was, yeah. And Which I feel like humble. everything else he was giving, the penis is humble. of course you'd have a humble penis because yeah. you can't have everything. It's like me <laughs> right. with the Megan the Stallion ass. Unfucking fair. How am I singing <laughs> your drawers off? And I've got an ass? Yeah, wow. that would be fair. God's yeah. like, no, not you. <laughs> nope, you can't. I'm you like, savage? Say, you absolute savage. No. Like, that's why I always say it. that God knows who to give a voice to. Because if I... Oh, I, don't have I feel body, the same way. Look, I feel like Gigi, if I had a voice... Can you oh. imagine Gigi having a voice? <laughs> I feel like if I had a voice, we can I'd make be, that happen. We I can would, get you some singing lessons. I would be a <laughs> Take it. I'll, bad I'll, bitch. Oh, not that you're I not a bad I would teach you. You only need to do like three things to get mm. it together. Or almost cheat your way into making people believe that you can actually sing. Because I don't sing. I just make noises that Girl, make sense sing. She got to me. Relax. No, she some sings. people be saying, like I know singers. Okay. I do stuff you do intentionally. Thing. I do my thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to really be, talk again. Just oh say God. anything. Just say anything. Yeah. Come on, Gigi, keep going. No. <laughs> see, now you're scared. You see how you start backing away? Gigi now y'all put me on the spot. Yes. See, you're like, yeah, right there. So yeah. if you just take Break it, it down, down. Break it give it a breath. Give it a breath. You, see, right there? Tony, that's Tony Braxton say, right there. Say, let me take your breath away. Let me take your breath away. Now put a melody to it. Ooh. Let me take your breath away. Let me take your breath away. I can put that oh right in the studio. We can put it right in the studio. Put a beat to it. Yes. Put a beat to it. That was amazing. amazing. Gigi, the Go album. Ahead, Gigi. Lip service coming soon. Go hear yeah. it. The album. But honestly, we had such a great time with you today. Yes. Can you imagine how lucky? You sing in the bedroom? I can't even get to that place. Like I'm screaming. Wow. I okay. mean, you have a two year old. Well, well, no, it might be different. I've learned how to have silent sex. I've okay. learned how to have a yeah. silent, silent orgasm. And I didn't realize we were doing it that much. By the time we were in the room or the house alone, <laughs> yeah, we were still having silent yeah. sex. Like, like, like bitch, I can scream now. Right. I'm like trying to repress. Nobody like, here. Heads in the fucking pillow, pillow. and shit. And yes. like, that's where biting loud works now. Too. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be quiet, oh, not biting. Oh my God, I can be loud. Tour bus sex, the loudest oh. you can get. Because that engine is revving. Burling. No one knows what the fuck you're doing. Until amazing. they turn the engine off and you don't know you at a rest stop. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Like, oh no, you feel them bumps. You do it. Yeah. Like they, the hydraulics in the back of that thing kick in. So when you stop, you stop. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, we love it. Well, we're doing the album later, though. I'll produce your whole album. Oh my God. I can't <laughs> wait. Let's do it. Like, I can't wait. Presented by Lip Service, produced by Marshall and Rosie's yes. The Album. The well, Album. Of course, you guys can hear One Night Stand. When is the full album coming? Soon. Soon. All right. That's all we need to know. All, all right. we need to know is that all it's right. on the way. And it's we all have it. But and enjoy, it's enjoy your one night stands yeah. and we can talk about it together. Yes. Give me all the stories, all the things, and I will be here for it. And we are all coming yeah. soon. Coming. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that's right. It's lip service. <laughs>